So, the Wes and Autumn will they won't they continues into choices. It's time to get back at Principal Issa and put an end to her farce. This has gone on long enough. Why, and why are you having this fight in front of everyone? Wes, you should know better. None of these choices are good. Wow. I'm going to pick the third one and internally I'm going to pretend that Oliver says it in a sarcastic tone. Oh, no. Ugh. Wes? No, thank you. No way. Jose, not Wes. Sorry. And not to um, rush things along, but I think we need to have a discussion about Isa right about now. I think you're grown up enough to uh, compartmentalize and uh, begin the planning stages for the end of Isa. And get the hell out of here, Caleb. I already told you that you and Frank aren't allowed to be here. We're not joining them? Come on. I'd love to check out. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, you guys are here. Hanging out together. What's up? Okay, Oliver's in no position to uh here, so. <laughs> I wish I could say the same, Michael. I wish I could say the same. I'm sorry. And hold on, are we not joining Wes and his rebellion? Or are we gonna splinter into a separate rebellion? That'd be a good idea, actually. We could have Wes and those guys lead the charge. They all get suspended, but secretly lying in the shadows Oliver, Michael, and Maria finish the job. I want that. This is how it should go down. If you and Maria aren't a couple, what the hell do you mean, Oliver? Are, is all the kissing and flirting and hugging with Michael not enough? How can that thought even cross your mind, dude? If anything, you and Maria are more of a couple than Michael and Maria. Come on. They're just bonding over their love for me. That's just how it works. <laughs> I'd love to, but I'd rather like begin planning the rebellion. And you need my help? Aren't you the official videographer for Issa's morning ego trips? There's no selling point. What's the selling point? Help you make a video to meet your friend? Who, who is your friend? Like, I'm so sure that somehow this is going to end up with Oliver and Michael kissing again, but... Do I need to kiss him for like the fifth time this book? I don't think so. Sorry, pal. I've got a rebellion to plan. Or an English essay, I guess. You nerd. <laughs> Thank you. 
What, are you being fired? Why are you still why are you still running my segment? This was my idea. Stop. I don't want you to talk about on this day. I should be up there talking about Elvis's guitars or something. I should be working to fix it instead of working on my English essay of all things. Come on, Oliver. I mean, they're already snitches, now you're giving them authority? Come on. You're just trying to make mini Isas. They're all gonna go on power trips. Where's Ko when you need her? Where's Ko, by the way? It's been a while. If Wes can't do this, if Wes can't pull off his little rebellion, we need Ko to take care of business. No skipping? You're putting a ban on skipping? Are you crazy? Emma? Skip a skipping ban? Like roller skates? Sure, but skipping? I can't even skip where I want to? I get- no you don't, Oliver. Take that back. The only way to bring Barry High into a golden era is to get Principal Issa out of here immediately. And her stupid brother as well. That is insane. That's so stupid. No, Oliver. It looks like our group is starting a rebellion. Why are you... Why are you not on board with rebelling? Why are you dilly-dallying, Oliver? I've been wanting to fight back since chapter one. But you're still... But you're still trying to act like everything is normal? What about your promise to Aiden? Remember that? Have you been doing everything you can to get him back? I don't think so. Do not! Do not accept this. I mean, we do have free ice cream, that's true. <laughs> but this is not okay.
Yeah, it's, it's well established that we can't trust the adults. So it's time to take action. I will kill you, Morgan. No way. No freaking way, dude. What is she blackmailing you with? Seriously. What, we're gonna get Maddox fired now? Are you... Are you insane? Are you for real right now? Will I have to pay diamonds to comfort the teacher? Like... Like, the sticking point here is clearly the increased school spirit part, but... 19! 19. 19 to see the world through the eyes of a sad middle-aged woman. <laughs> I would love to help you out. But we've got our own things to take care of. Sorry. And sorry, Emma. I know I've been, like, neglecting you a lot recently. <sighs> I can't believe you're still friends with me, to be honest with you. Given how much I've said no to all your invites. But hey, we've got bigger fish to fry. She'll say no. You said no to her. Huh? What was that pause? Like, it, like it wasn't a pause of embarrassment. It was a pause of, I need to come up with a, an excuse. Which is fair, you know. You invited me over and you asked for my help and I said no. So it's fine if you want to reject me, but that kind of pause is very suspicious, Emma. You're acting very strange. Have you made a deal with the devil? Are you gonna tell me that you've joined Caleb and Morgan and their little band of traitors? You're leaving to the parking lot, so it's maybe you're not, so, so I guess you're not a hall monitor, but you're doing something very strange. What if Emma is the mastermind? What if Emma is secretly behind the scenes plotting Issa's downfall? That would be the perfect plot twist, because I don't think Oliver is prepared to do anything. He seems very useless, not gonna lie. And Maria and Michael, I don't know what they're plotting. They better have something good. Okay, this is where I'm spending my diamonds. I mean, come on. I would like to help our homeroom teacher out, but I'm, I'm spending diamonds to go to this birthday party. I didn't think of the connotation of that. <laughs> I'll get, I pressed it, as, as I was pressing it, I saw that it was in italics and I was like, oh, okay. Well, <sighs> a little flirting won't hurt, I guess. Yeah, I was, I'm not going to, don't worry. <laughs> that was just a, an over enthusiastic misclick, sorry. Oliver, be quiet. Uh-oh. The entire school, you've invited the hall monitors? They will find a way to get you in trouble off school premises. Mark my words, Caleb's gonna be there. He's gonna notice that someone's drinking too much punch and say, hey, 
that's above your allowed intake sugar level for the day. I'm gonna report you to Principal Isa. It's gonna be something dumb like that. Maria, do me and do yourself a favor and uninvite all the hall monitors. Caleb, Morgan, Otto, Frank, and then Peyton by association because Peyton's a sweetheart, but she's dating a hall monitor. So she is complicit in their evil acts. Make it a smaller party. Make it, you know what? Just invite me, Michael, Wes, and Ezra. Then we can begin planning this rebellion. Oh yeah, you're not hanging out with Emma, huh? Nishan, hey, nice of him to get a mention, finally. Maybe, maybe Emma really is planning a rebellion. Oliver, you kind of deserve it, not gonna lie. She just wants to spare your feelings. <sighs> and I realize now that we've gotten through this chapter without a diamond choice. Hey, first time for everything, I guess. Will something turn this birthday upside down? Yeah, like the hall monitors, maybe? Maria? If you're inviting the enemy into your own home, you better have a plan to deal with them. C because I would much rather not have to clean up after your mess. Honestly, how many times have I said rebellion this episode? Probably too many. But we didn't make any progress in that regard this time. So we'll have to do it next chapter. Edge of 17, try Edge of Rebellion, because we're going to start the rebellion next time. And if Maria's birthday party going horribly wrong has to be the catalyst, then so be it. When you bring everyone together to, at your place, expect some fireworks. Things will get messy. I will fight Caleb. I will fight Frank. I will fight Morgan. And it pains me to say it, but I will fight Autumn, if that's what it takes to overthrow Isa. Mark my words. So Maria, you better add bandages and gauze to your birthday shopping list because you'll need that when I'm done with the hall monitors. <laughs> Whew. All right, guess we'll finally sow the seeds of rebellion next chapter, unless we don't. In which case, maybe chapter nine, maybe chapter 10. It's gotta happen at some point, surely. We've been dilly-dallying through the past three chapters. Let's get on with this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.